Good morning. This is the last of 53 consecutive five mile walks from the Gresford Memorial to the Miners Rescue and back again. I'm still going to be saying it tomorrow. Even if no one's listening, I'm still going to be saying it. All good things must come to an end and today being the first day of spring and the return of the light nights this marks the end of walk into spring a challenge in support of the Wrexham miners rescue project i knew the miners rescue project was a vital community resource at the start of the challenge and everything i've seen and learnt over the past couple of months has confirmed this and much much more the work George, the trustees, advisors, and the amazing volunteers perform is so important to our past, present, and future. If you're on tent on never forgetting every lost man and child, every widow, every fatherless child, every broken bone, every amputation, scar, and long-term health condition of every miner and every rescue worker in every pit, then look down the list of the Gresford victims in the entrance to the rescue and appreciate how many men were cut off in their prime and how many were lost before their lives had truly begun. The rescue works tirelessly to prevent threads in the web of time being severed and lost forever. If you're intent on fostering a face-to-face -face community in an increasingly virtual world, a community where people feel a sense of belonging and acceptance, then sit in the rescue cafe and eat good, reasonably priced food and chat an hour or two away. If you're intent on remembering how social structures manifest privilege for the few and injustice and inequality for too many, then look no further than the work the rescue performs for marginalised people, our people, in our community, who are isolated and for whom underfunded public services are struggling to cater for. If you're intent on promoting your own mental health and that of others, Look no further than the art classes and drag and chat that provide opportunities for the young, old and everyone in between to offload, express themselves and articulate their understanding of the world. If you're intent on understanding more about the fabric of your own identity, to understand where we've been, what we value and what we are, then look at every artefact, every piece of Wrexham FC memorabilia, every piece of Largie, Sharon's and Sue's art and take the time to talk. This is all being achieved in a building still requiring significant reconstruction following its wanton destruction by a previous owner. If half a building can create so much force for good, imagine what could be achieved in a fully functional building. If you can donate, then please do so. The GoFundMe page will remain open for another week if you can afford to give. If you can't afford to donate, pop in for a coffee engage on social media and tell your friends and family about the project. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank every one of you at home and in the US and Australia who has donated money or time to walk with me to support this challenge. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your generosity and for the new friendships I've made. I'd also like to thank my lovely wife Katie and my equally lovely children Benji and Evie for remaining patient whilst I've been absent or preoccupied with content. And finally, a big thank you to all the rescue for making me feel so genuinely welcome. I'm truly in awe of the time you give for the benefit of our community. This walk was dedicated to Walter W. Wineyard, Henry Witter, Edward Wynne, Morgan Yem, and Thomas O. Jones. Uh, just, just the last one from me, really. Um, a few things. First of all, thank you to everybody who showed up to do the walk today um, uh, and give their support. Um, many, many thanks for eating into your Easter Sunday uh, and coming with me um, one more time from, from the Gresford Memorial to the um, Miners Rescue and back again. Um, thanks so much for, for your support this morning. Uh, and, and for the rescue staff at opening the cafe as well and treating us all to uh, bacon sandwiches uh, and tea and coffee. Great gesture, thanks so much. 
Secondly, the GoFundMe fund, uh, GoFundMe fund page has gone mad this morning, this afternoon, um, and with some donations outside the online forum, um, the challenge has raised three thousand seven hundred pounds as it stands. I'm going to leave it open for for another week uh, and, and and see where it goes, but. That's brilliant. So again, thank you to everybody who's made a donation. And finally, just to introduce Tom Evans and Dan Jones, who are going to sing us out uh, and finish this series off with their own rendition of the Gresford disaster, probably the most famous uh, folk song written about the tragedy. Uh, we, we went out on uh, Thursday afternoon in, in the pouring rain and wind uh, which played havoc with the sound, but it's cleaned up pretty well. Um, and we filmed it above where it's believed most of the bodies are buried. So it was just uh, Tom and Dan's way of paying tribute. And I think a really suitable way to play out. Two local lads, one from Penikai, one from Kodpog, paying tribute to the 266 dead. You've heard of the Gresford disaster and the terrible price that was paid. 263 colliers were lost and three men of a rescue brigade. It occurred in the month of September at two in the morning that pit was racked by a violent explosion in the Dennis where gas lay so thick. The gas in the Dennis deep section was packed up like snow in a drift and many a man had to leave the coal face before he had finished his shift. A fortnight before the explosion to the shot fired a Tom Linson cried If you fire that shot we'll all be blown to hell and nobody can say that he lied. The fireman's reports, they are missing The records of 42 days The colliery manager had them destroyed To cover his criminal ways Down there in the dark they are lying They died for nine shillings a day They have worked out their shift and it's now They must lie in the darkness until judgment day the Lord Mayor of London's collecting To help both our children and wives The owners have sent some white lilies To pay for poor colliers' lives Farewell our dear wives and our children Farewell our dear comrades as well Don't send your sons down the dark dreary pits They'll be damned like the sinners in hell.